what's going on guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy serrano and today um i have the galaxy tab a right here it's an eight inch tablet from samsung and so um what we're gonna go ahead and do is take a look at, at the um samsung galaxy tablet the tab a um so let's just read the specs right here you can see it says it does say the samsung galaxy tab a with s pen um LTE version with 32 gigabytes LTE as well. So you're gonna be able to connect to Metro by T-Mobile as well as uh, Cricket or AT&T or, Match or T uh, you know, those type of carriers. You're getting eight megapixel AF plus a five megapixel front, uh, 32 gigabytes of internal storage, record, uh, U uh, Ultra HD 4K playback, but you could only record in HD. Um, so, uh, I did cut the box. What happened was I had recorded the video and then my brother's voice was like in the background, like all you could hear was his voice. So let me just see. You can see on the box, it does have that pen right there on the side. It also does say, uh, tab A from Samsung. So that's a really nice presentation. On the top, you are getting the tablet with the wall brick as well as type c so you're going to be able to get um five watts on this on this um charger you also are able to get um it says right here cho choose your language during setup the quick start guide the warranty packet and then a third uh, option right here in spanish so, so that's like in spanish the same thing and a sim ejector tool we also do get this tool right here to remove the tip and of the S Pen in case you want to remove, um, like let's say it starts to wear down like after time or something, you can actually replace that. So um, that's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and um, just take this off and we're going to go ahead and pop that out of the sleeve. And um, I already turned it on so just to save a little bit of time. So um, when you turn it on, you are greeted by a really nice display. It's a TFT display. It's um, 1920 by uh, 12, uh, I think 40, no 1200, 1920 by 1200. Um, now you can see this thing does look really nice. You get your type C right here. You get the pen, which is located on, you just push and it pops right out. So you can have that pen option. I didn't see the thing where the screen turned on. Maybe we will get that and be able to turn it on in the setting. And I'll turn that on, but um, you do get um, the SIM remover option right here with the SIM card. Um, let me just open that to see if there's any storage inside of here. I already have like four different SIM card removers on my keychain, so. I have my SIM card already in here as well. So you can see you do get storage as well. Um, so you can expand the storage and you could put your SIM card, which I already did. So, um, you know, this thing has 32 gigabytes of um, internal storage, which is not, you know, the most craziest amount of storage like in the entire world. But, um, you know, it, it, it'll actually suffice. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, you know take a look at this device right now for you guys. Let's go ahead and turn on the screen. It's really bright. It looks really colorful. The the, the screen is punchy. Um, you can see you got your notifications that you can click right there and get to. Um, downloading Call of Duty right now. You can see I have YouTube installed on here. Let's go back here. So that's pretty cool that you can just go right there and get your notifications turn it right back off you could swipe up to unlock you get your calls right here and um if you swipe on the other side you can enter your pattern password or pin but the really cool thing that i'm going to show you guys is that you do get facial recognition on here so um the pen pops out really nicely whoa i almost dropped it but what's really cool is let me turn down the brightness because it's really bright right now. Okay, that's a, that's a little bit better. Can you see that now? Okay, that's better. All right, so um, when you open a note, this thing is really nice as far as um, 
the response time. You also can press the button and get the tools here. Um, and to press it again, and you can close it. You can get brushes here. And um, but let me just show you how smooth this thing will write. It's gonna write just like paper. It's also pressure sensitive. And um, I feel like I can get a ton of notes done um, with this thing. So look how fast. It feels so responsive, just like paper, like I'm writing directly on a piece of paper. And um, so if you're looking for a device with a pen, I could definitely recommend this one as far as just going off of the pen for more versatility and uh, options there. But you do get, I, I did download Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger Lite. Um, and when you go here, I think you're gonna get a designated option for gaming, if I'm not mistaken but you could swipe across and get to Bixby home. Uh, but we'll do that later. It's asking me to update the thing. You go, you got your Google apps here. Um, like I said, this um, app is installing uh, Call of Duty. So I'm gonna be playing some games on here in a little bit. I might even test the cameras as well. But um, that pen option is something that I like to use so um, let me just show you, um, you can navigate through the screen with it as well instead of just using your finger. When you long hold, you do get wallpapers and um, it gives you these options to choose from. You do get widgets as well. And uh, I think this is one UI. It's not, um, um, it's not one UI 2.0, it's the, the first one. So that's the only thing um, is that you're gonna get the first version. I'm not sure, they might be updating this one as well. So um, they might be coming out with updates for the 2.0. So I might be looking out for that. But um, you can see right here, you do get options here for home button settings. Um, now, if you wanted to draw on this thing, I would definitely download uh, uh, Auto, let me see, Auto Sketchbook. That's like my favorite. And I did turn on the gestures for typing. So, so like, um, sketchbook, and then, so the gestures for typing with the pen, you could just swipe across and uh, you can install that. And um, I'm gonna let that just do its thing. But um, so far the experience is really smooth with this thing. It's like really, really fast. There's no lag on this thing. Um, so if we go, it does give you Microsoft at Drive here, um, Office Mobile, I guess to get some work done on the go. Um, we're gonna download some games on here, some books, applications so we could do like reading, um, use this thing for a lot of videos like Netflix, a lot of YouTube. But the really cool thing is the fact that they offer 4G connectivity to Metro by T-Mobile and Cricket Wireless as well. So you're gonna be able to um, take this thing on commutes and on the go and get work done while you're like out and about. Um, what I really like is it's not too big. The eight inch device is kind of perfect for regular use. And the fact that you can actually take phone calls with it as well is really dope because you're gonna be able to get the option to, um, you might look, you might wanna put Bluetooth or um, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, which it does have. So you can get audio on the top. You do get a little uh, microphone here and um, one more down below. The type C as well, which is gonna give you a pretty quick fast charge. Uh, it has this matte black finish on the back of it, which is really nice. It almost feels like the back of my Blackberry Passport, the way it's um, grippy and gripping to my hand. But um, you also do get an eight megapixel and a five megapixel on the front. Um, so overall, these are my first impressions with the, um, the Tab A by Samsung. So if you guys found this video helpful, formative, or useful in any way possible, uh, let me know down below and let me know what kind of videos you wanna see on the Samsung Galaxy Tab A. Um, but this is the, the, L, the 4G LTE version, which will give you Wi-Fi and the five gigahertz as well so that you can um, you know, pretty much have a versatile device on the go with an S Pen, which will be pressure sensitive and um, 
offer a lot of cool features. Um, but um, one of the other things I did wanted to show you is that this thing is running on, uh, let's see, the option right here. You can see we got advanced features for the S Pen in motion. Uh, you could reduce animations here, motions and gestures. Uh, you, you could let the phone stay awake if you wanted to by looking at it. You got palm re re um, rejection right here. Uh, palm swipe to capture a, well, actually palm swipe to capture. Um, and also swipe to call or message is also a gesture that they have on here. Um, tap to wake is also another gesture that they have on here. Um, that's pretty cool. So they have some advanced settings and uh, this pr thing is pretty much just your, your, your standard um, software for uh, Samsung. Uh, they have some navigation options that you can choose from such as full screen gestures uh, as well. So they did implement that on the tablet, which I think is kind of cool. Um, so you get full screen gestures with the tablet. So I, I think that's just really dope. This thing is going to be fun to play around with, especially like when I'm out and about. People are probably going to be like, how is he using that thing with with um, with data? But um, let me know if you found this video helpful. Um, and I definitely think this thing is really, really cool. Uh, it's just going to be a really fun device to play around with. You could even put your SIM and make it your main phone. Uh, but uh, this thing does have some pretty good hardware as well as software. And um, one thing, when I opened the cameras before, I noticed that the ca cameras had some really cool um, like emojis right here. You could find your face and open those up. Um, but they did have some really cool settings in here. And I did notice that the... Um, What, one thing I did notice was that, like, uh, let me turn this off because that looks silly. Let me see. Okay. But the camera looks really good right now, like when I'm looking at it. So the one thing it's going to be able to do is take some really good um, photographs. So um, I just took a photo right here. Let me just see if I can show you that. Okay, so it says allow loca a location, but this photo came out really decent. It came out really cool. Um, a lot of detail in the back. Um, it's got that 32 gigabytes of uh, ROM plus store expandable storage, so you can expand it. But um, I'm gonna wrap it up, but I'll see you guys on the next video. But um, in the meantime, just make sure you guys have a great morning, afternoon, evening, depending where you are, have a great night. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you share it, like it, and subscribe for more videos just like this. But I'll check you guys later. And um, later, crew. Peace.